Today we're working on my 2018 STI and we are installing these fully plug and play JDM fog light bezels and fully plug and play uh, fog lights with all the wiring you need and a button. So even on the interior you have a button to turn your fog lights on and off. This is a SubiSpec uh, JDM fog light bezel plug and play signal harness. So this is required for anyone that doesn't have a base model that has the upgraded LED headlights. You know you have it if you have that black stripe, like that black plastic trim right there. If you have that and you have a signal, you're going to need this in order to get the, uh, the signal to work. So if you want the sequential signal or even just the switchback, you need this to get a plug and play setup for this. It's the same for anywhere you get these bezels, even if you go to Subi Speed, it's all the same, it's required. I should probably go through everything that came with the kit. So for the fog lights, these were actually clear, but I tinted them yellow. Uh, I have clips of this that I guess I'll show right now. And it comes with the full wiring, comes with the switch, everything you need to mount them. I, I don't know what that's for. And just other wires that go to the switch and whatnot. For the bezels, uh, this is what you get. So it's a white DRL with a sequential amber that's also switchback. The harness that comes with it. So this again works with the base models. The limited models, you're gonna need an additional harness. But if you don't have the LED headlights like those, you need this. And this right here is what switches it from sequential to switchback. This is the SubiSpec uh, JDM fog light bezel signal harness. That's plug and play for limited models. No one sold this in Canada, so I actually went out and made my own. Uh, you can buy them from me, I guess, if you want, uh, on SubiSpec on Instagram, so hit that up. And if you're in Canada, we can work something out. I can get them shipped to you. If you're local, you know, you can come meet me and grab them. But if you are interested, I'll include the Instagram name right here and send me a message, let me know you saw the video, and we can work something out. I'm gonna go ahead, quickly try to take this bumper off. I'm not going to go into detail for this because you could find this literally anywhere, but it's very simple. You just go ahead, take all these clips off and all the clips on the bottom, and the bumper should just come right off. Now that your car's looking all sad, you got the bumper off. We gotta pop these out. It's not too hard. If you just pop out this side and work your way, it should just come right out. Comes right out. And you can do whatever you want with these. I'm probably gonna sell them. So if anyone wants them, let me know. I'll clean them up, there's just some polish. I'll clean it. It's not like paint or anything, but I'll clean them up, make them look brand new, and someone can have them. I'm going to start off by mounting the fog lights. There's no left or right. They are both the exact same, but it does say top. You do have the adjustability right here, so you make sure you, you want to make sure this is right. Also, just so this points down, so in the future, if you change your bulb, you can. I'm upgrading to LED, but for now, I'm just going to leave the halogen. So this is how you do it, I guess. First, you take these little clips. You stick them on. So once you have those on, take your fog light, 
goes into one side and you screw in the other I have to say, already with just the fogs, this thing looks sick. This is <laughs> this is awesome. This is exactly what I was going for. Uh, I think it's gonna really get that JDM feel from this, especially when we throw these on. Oh, if you want a side by side, that's what you're getting. And it's a little dirty, but the paint is paint matched to the grill of the 18. So it's like a piano black with a little bit of flake. So it's really nice. The next part, it's not too difficult, but it can be a bit of a pain, and it's installing these bezels. Now, there's one wire, and it goes through this hole. I believe if you had a signal before, it went through here, but since I never had it, it goes through here, it's just, it's just where it lines up. So feed that through. Then you wanna push in this side and get that lined up as best as you can. Get it in there. And then you want to push the front in and back. Oh, I got them in, finally. And I'm not gonna lie, it is a little difficult to get in. I had to finagle it a few times. And the reason, you have to push this side in and there's a little lip that the bezel has to sit on. So you have to kind of put it in sideways, make sure it hits that lip, push all the clips down and then there's another lip right here that you have to make sure it sits in to make sure it's fully in and you get a nice OEM finish. It took a while, but you know, at the end, I think it's well worth it. It looks really good, actually. I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with I went with the fog lights. It gives it just JDM look. I love a full fog light. I know a lot of people now are doing like the little circle fog lights, which those are cool too, but I love just a nice big yellow fog. It's my thing. I love it. I ran a, a yellow fog on my 06. I'm gonna run a yellow fog on my 18. I just love it. It's just, it's what gets me. It's just that JDM look, I love it. Um, another thing are these little caps right here. I cut a notch in it and I will show you why. So it goes just right there on the fog light and it's supposed to allow it to breathe and that's fine. But how it was, it was kind of coming off. So I just gave it a little notch just to make sure it goes on properly and it doesn't fall off while driving. And I did that because if we use a side that's not cut, it's kind of sticking up and it just it wasn't right so put a little notch we should be fine now it is time for everyone's favorite part and that is the wiring that's what a lot of people have questions about and in all honesty it's not that difficult and i'm going to start off with the jdm fog light wiring and honestly if you have a base model this is all you got to do it's just this one harness it's very simple kind of up like this Side. All right, so remove your ground with a with a 10 mil. Once you have that off, take your ground, just slide her on, and crank her down. Next. You take your out of fuse, snip off that leg right there. Okay, you don't need it. And then you have to slide it in this slot right there. Doing this. And put your cover back on. Okay, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show this install. But again, this is for limited models only that have this headlight that are LED from factory. So how it works is you have your OEM uh, signal right there. So pull it out. Pull it out just like so. Remove your bulb. So the bulb goes into the harness. Okay. Once you got the bulb into the new harness, you can go ahead and put it back in. So my bulb is back in. This is our new harness. This is the connector that goes into there. So it goes in like so. I recommend wrapping this in electrical tape and you can also throw some dielectric grease in there just to help with corrosion. And then this harness, you just shoot right down that hole.
and you'll see it right here. This harness you just brought down connects to the harness that came with the bezels. So it goes in, just like so. Now you'll have power for your signals on your JDM bezels. It's that simple. So repeat it to the other side. Now that's installed. Zip tie these up somewhere nicely. Uh, I'm probably gonna use one of these holes. Also this, you could mount it up in the engine bay, like up here or something, and put a zip tie through here if you wanna be able to change it on the go. I'm pretty set on having sequential, so I'm just gonna hide it down here. And if I really want to, I could pull back the liner and easily access it. Um, it's something I don't need to change a lot. If you have to use this harness because you have a limited model, you'll notice that this is open to the elements. So it comes with one of these dust shields. It does nothing other than protect your connector from dust. That's it. I ended up just zip tying it up here. Left this hanging down so I can always change it. And this is easily accessible just so I can take off and on my bumper. Uh, just put one zip tie there. And again, zip tied it up there just to the harness itself. Uh, easily accessible and yeah. Also found this little clip to hold my wire on the factory uh, windshield washer fluid reservoir. So that's kind of nice. Just kind of holds it in place. Kind of OEM, I guess. <laughs> so where it gets really confusing is the harness for those fog lights. But I think we can figure it out. Now I'm going to run it the same way as how we ran this cabling. But what I find very weird is there's ground on this end. So this is going to go to the passenger side. So I got to find somewhere to ground this, which... We'll probably do it to right here. And there's this wire, which I don't know why they'd have it on this side. They should have just kept it on that side so everything can run through the same area. So that's kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure this wire has to connect to that red wire that goes to that interior wire. So yeah, I don't know why it's on this side. It just, it seems stupid to me, but what are you gonna do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start wiring this because I have to figure out how it works at the same time as you guys. I, it's my first time. I, I've never really seen a video on how this works. So this is going to be a first for me. I'm just kind of going with it and seeing what happens. So I don't know if you're really able to follow along, but basically I just ran the cabling to the same way down and below, uh, through ground right there where the horn is. I can't see why that won't be a problem. Uh, so we have our JDM fog light bezel plug right here, our switch back or sequential switch. And this is our plug for our uh, fog lights. And basically just ran it across into this mess. So we have a relay. Um, <laughs> I really don't know how to hide all this or wire this nicely with the wash fluid here. There's just not a lot of room. Uh, I ran some of the wiring up through here, hooked it up to the battery and the ground. I have my switch here just to kind of check, just to kind of test it, just to see if this works. I don't want to hook all this up and find out it does not work. Um, this is probably gonna have to get wired inside the car. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm just kind of have it out here for testing purposes. I'm going to get back to that tomorrow. However, I want to make sure this works. So I'm going to quickly hook all this up, just kind of test fit it, and then we'll see if it works. There you go. <laughs> okay, this is sick. There you go. 
I'm happy about that. I'm gonna click it through the bumper on and probably call it a night and get back at it tomorrow. So I put the front bumper on and realized I forgot to show you guys the working white DRL. But just so you guys to see, uh, let me quickly turn the car on for you to see. It's really bright, so it's hard to get a good shot of it, but I'm sure you can get the idea. Now this, these sea lights look really not that good anymore. <laughs> Damn. On camera it still looks good, but in person, yeah, they don't look that great to be honest. Man, I am obsessed with this. I think it looks so good and I'm so happy with the outcome. The only thing that's really left to do is to wire up the fogs. And in all honesty, it's really not that hard. I really want to show you how they look during the day just because it was kind of difficult to see uh, at night. But yeah, that looks great in my opinion. I think it looks amazing. It's really aggressive. And I feel like it just gives depth to the car, like to the front of the car that I feel like it was missing. And there's the day running light. I love it. <laughs> I have no complaints. They worked flawlessly. Other than honestly, the bezel is kind of a pain to install just because it is not OEM. It is aftermarket. But other than that, I think it has a great fitment, as you can see. Like, there's no issues. Um, but, yeah, other than that, like, I think it's a solid purchase, and it looks great on any Subaru. Gee. So, basically, I had a red wire that I pulled up through here that has one of those, like, butt connectors. And I tucked it in here while I went for work. Now it's the next day. I've since run the wire up, up in here, and to take off this cover, it's a couple push connectors, just one here and one there, and it comes out. And I ran this red wire all the way down here using factory uh, mounts. And if you come down here, you can see a grommet right there that it goes through. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it goes through there. The hardest thing to do is to pull this wire through. But I got it through using just some coat hanger, and I'm telling you right now, it is so difficult. It's easier if you go from the inside out, not the outside in. And tell me, and I'm telling you, this took me one hour just to do, but it'll be worth it in the end. All right, I just threw the car all back together. That's definitely the easy part. But now that we have our connector down here, uh, the rest should be pretty simple. And we need to take this part off, and to do that, just pry it if I can remember how. Pry it out like that. Should pop out. You'll have one Phillips right here. And all you gotta do, give her a tug. And she's out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, disconnect a couple of these connectors probably, so I could give you a better idea of how to install the button that will be going right here. So all we got to do now is remove this fake button. It's very easy to do. Just take your flathead, pry it back a bit. I'm doing this with one hand, so we'll see how well I can do this. And I'm going to put a little bit of pressure, and she came out. I don't know how well of an angle that was, but that's how you do it. It's really not that hard. Just a quick comparison. This is what the two switches look like. Well, obviously this is the fake one on the right and the new one on the left. Um, it is not OEM quality, I'll tell you that, but it's not bad for, you know, what it costs. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if you can get this button OEM from Subaru. And to be honest, I don't think you can. I haven't seen it. Maybe on like the BRZ you can get it, but for the STIs, I've not seen it. But yeah, to throw this in, it's very easy. Literally, you just take your little bezel this face is up and you just pop it in so yeah you can see it's not exact but it's pretty close also I'm pretty sure this glows orange which I'm not a huge fan of but I'll probably end up taking this apart again and swapping in some red LEDs or something which I'm completely fine with uh, it's just a little bit more work for me to do so if you have a base model WRX and I guess an STI if you have a 15 to 17. So if you have a base model WRX or STI that uses the halogen bulb in the bumper and you install these JDM bezels, 
This is the relay you're going to have to swap out. Uh, it's really not too difficult to remove. There's a tab somewhere, so you have to kind of like pull it out this way and then unhook it from the back. I'm not going to show you just because I don't have to do it, but that's where it is in case you're wondering. If you're really not sure, I'm sure there's other videos that will show you how to do it exactly. So basically to finish this up, you have your ground, your cable that connects to the cable you pull through your car, and a red cable that goes to a 12 volt power that's only on when the car's on. So I'm gonna go to one of my out of fuses that I already have, and I'm gonna connect it to one. I'm gonna go to my out of fuses I already have, and I'm gonna find one that I already have connected that is only on when the power is on. So example is like a cigarette. You know, your cigarette lighter that's only on when your power is on, so that's a perfect one to deal with. Um, my ground, I'm gonna connect it right here, which I used before already. I believe this is for my dash cam. So I'm gonna quickly wire this up and just make sure everything works. That's it there. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's grounded, connected. I'm gonna throw a little bit of electrical tape on this real quick just to make sure it's fully secure and I don't have to worry about anything going wrong. So I stole some power from this out of fuse that goes to my ACC and that's what my dash cam is also hooked up to. So that's fine. I'm not really worried about it drawing too, too much power. Uh, there is a fuse on it. So if it does, um, you know, just let it do its thing. Also, I got LED ones coming in anyways, which I'm hoping will consume less power anyways. So I think we'll be okay. If I push the power, nothing happens. Okay. I hit the button. We got a green light. So that green light's definitely gonna go. I'm probably gonna go with the red one. I'll take this all apart and swap it out. If you see our lights are on, but our fog is not. And if I push the button, pretty neat, huh? So that's the finished product. Once again, it's a little late, so it's hard to see and there's a bunch of glare, but I'm very happy with it. I feel like it has that JDM look that I've been going for and Honestly, can't complain. And I'll quickly throw the hazards on for you guys to see. So that's the hazards with the fogs. And I love it. It looks way better in person, I'll tell you that.